Hi, my name is Kurt Elsner from Tigerfish Tutorials and today I'd like to show you how to create this smoke effect in Photoshop. Okay guys, let's start. You go to File, New and create a new file with the dimensions 1920 1080 pixels. We name it Smoke Type Effect. Hit OK. Convert the background to a new layer by double clicking on the background layer. Hit OK. So um, now go to the effects and um, make a gradient overlay. For the gradient overlay, um, we choose a stop color <coughs> with a hue of 200. Uh, 10, saturation 40, and brightness 20, OK, and stop color here with hue 195, saturation 30, and brightness 5, OK, and OK again, and as style we choose radial, hit OK. <coughs> so next, we um, get the type tool. Um, I have Arial um, Black with 300 point and I write in here Smoke and choose White as color. Now you click on both layers um, so that you can um, align the type with these buttons here. Hit OK. So now um, you choose the type layer, go to filter, blur and choose motion blur. Photoshop asks you now if you want to rasterize the type. We say OK. <coughs> and then you choose 90 degrees angle and distance 30 pixels. OK. Next you go to Filter, Distort, Wave. You choose number of generators 3, wavelengths 10 and 346. Amplitude is 5 and 35. Scale 100, type sign and repeat edge pixels. So now hit OK and you get an effect like this. <coughs> So next you add another um, filter, go down to Blur, Gaussian Blur, with a radius of 10 pixels, hit OK. For this layer you choose um, Group, add the layer to the group, and we call the group Smoke. And as Blend Mode we use Color Dodge. So now you get this uh, kind of um, wiggly glow effect. Close the group and add a new layer. This layer I call clouds. Now um, take a look at the four and background colors that you have a uh, black foreground and white background color. Um, go on, uh, go to filter and choose render clouds. And you get this kind of effect. Again, we choose Color Dodge as effect. So, um, for this layer, you add a layer mask by clicking on this icon here. And um, now we want to mask some areas of this um, cloud layer. For this purpose, you choose the brush. This brush here, right mouse button, size. Um, what size? 500 pixels, hardness 0, hit enter and um, we choose black as color and mask over the layer here like this. Okay, okay, round it goes so we get a smoke effect like this here. So next uh, is we um, create another group, 
this here and for this group we choose color dodge as blending mode and add a new layer and this layer I call smoke again and now we need some brushes these are the standard standard brushes of Photoshop and to load um, additional brushes you go on this menu here and select load brushes and you um, can upload five smoke type effect brushes which you can get on my website um, here you can see the here you can see the web address and as color you choose white change the color here or press X on your keyboard you see X I can change um, the size now you select this brush here and click in the image like this maybe this brush here and you see you get nice um, smoke effects. So, close the group and add a new layer and for this layer we put the layer down below above the um, layer 0 here. You um, change to the fill bucket, change the color to black Everything here is uh, ticked, anti-alias, contiguous in all layers, tolerance 100, opacity 100 and you click on this area here above. Now you go to a filter, texture and texturizer and <coughs> here you choose texturizer, canvas, scaling 100%, relief 4 and light from the top, hit OK and then you lower the opacity to 10% and hit return and that's the final thing you do and that's the final image. Press F twice on your keyboard and that's the final effect.